Well, of course, most 10 year olds enjoy being active, hanging out with their friends at school. However, Talon Adkins of Utahville had his life turned around when he was diagnosed with a disease that showed his bone marrow was not making enough blood cells. Our Anna Harris shows us how Talon is just one example of who is impacted by the nationwide blood shortage. 10 year old Talon Adkins of Utahville was an active kid playing football when his family noticed he was often getting bruises, which they thought was pretty normal. He actually went hunting on Thanksgiving um, and my brother said he couldn't even walk from the truck to the deer stand and that's when we knew something else was going on. Doctors then discovered his hemoglobin levels were a 4.3, which they should have been between an 11 and a 15. Normal platelet levels range from 140 to 440,000. Talons were down to 8,000. After being rushed to MUSC, he was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia, a disease where bone marrow does not make enough blood cells for the body. Something new that I haven't experienced before and it's kind of scary. Talon has been homeschooled since his diagnosis because he had to start getting transfusions twice a week at MUSC. This is one of the nine hospitals the American Red Cross serves in the low country and all year long they've been involved in a nationwide blood shortage. When th things are tight, we end up not being able to meet all the needs. Uh, we have to defer procedures. There's all sorts of things that could potentially be risks. Patrick says they need to collect about 100 units of blood each day to keep up with the demand. It's doesn't shock me as much to know because I think a lot of people don't want to give, you know, get out and they're scared to give blood. And I think more people, if they would just realize that how easy it is to give blood, there wouldn't be a shortage. Talon has now been transfusion free for six weeks and still comes downtown to check his labs weekly. People that, that receive blood, it's transformational. My whole outlook on giving blood has completely changed. And if he did not have any blood donors out there that give regularly, he likely wouldn't be here today. Like me, I need blood, so I'm probably going to in the future give blood too. The American Red Cross says they have two fixed sites in the low country and blood drives happening every day to help people like Talon have a better life. Hold on, not give up for anything. In downtown Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.